The pictures capture the state title moments, the 13 players and three coaches that represented Zelensky's Cafe in Scranton back in the summer of 1981. Playing in the Amateur Softball Association Men's Modified Fast Pitch Softball State Championship game versus Hafco Farms from Troy. Thousands of fans surrounded the field at the Southside Complex 39 years ago. West Granton boys basketball coach Jack Lyons was the third baseman on the team. And I just think we played flawless that weekend, and, and we even came back the next year and we were a runner-up. But it was just everybody got along. They're, they're our lifelong friends, uh, just great, great human beings. Everybody was competitive. We played hard, and I don't think we were the best team in it, but everything clicked together during that time. J.P. Martin carried a 6-0 record into the championship round. Zelensky's Cafe was known for their defense and pitching behind Martin. And going into the 81 season, Connie Ocianzi grabbed a gem from Dunmore to shore up the middle infield when he got Tommy Soans to play. Soans was coming off five years of minor league baseball in the Cincinnati Reds system. That weekend was uh, just memorable. You know, the, the fans that were behind us here at the stadium, uh, I don't know if it was two, 3,000 people, um, it brought back some memories, you know, playing professionally, uh, but it, it was just a great weekend. John Radiseski, Zelensky's first baseman, cracked a three-run home run back in 81, a towering shot that put the Scranton team over the top. I just unloaded on it, and uh, I hit it as it just kept on going. I didn't see it go over the fence because I was running my tail off. Well, next summer will mark the 40th anniversary for the state championship softball team that played back here in the old Southside Complex. The memories are still fresh today, just like they were back in 1981. Estimated between two and 3,000 people all around the, the whole sidelines, up on the hills, eight and nine deep. You still have the ball? No, I don't have the ball at all. Do you know what happened to it? No, I don't. <laughs> Steve Lloyd, Newswatch 16 Sports, Lackawanna County.